in the beginning, there was a desire or not. Maybe there was a brother who had an instrument in the closet. Maybe there was an instrument hidden in the attic. Perhaps there was a vacancy in the school band for trombone. But you actually wanted to play trumpet. In the beginning of your playing life, there was a start of some kind. That's right. There was a start of some kind. And how often do we think about that start in our later years? So we're going to start there as the opening for this year's Frequency Bone Summer Music Connection 5. That's right. This is going to be the fifth year of our online music camp, Music Connection. And I thought I would spend some time talking about playing through the years. Actually, that's going to be the title of the whole summer. Playing through the years. Whether you're just starting out, welcome. Whether you're, you're in high school, middle school, whether you're just about to enter college, whether you're in college, undergrad, masters, other degrees after that, doctorate, whether you're starting to freelance, or whether you're actually going into another career but still keeping up your music, whether you're uh, auditioning for orchestras, whether you're in an orchestra, whether you're uh, freelancing and playing in regional orchestras or you know, chamber music. It makes no difference. You're still in a career that hopefully will have longevity. And since next year, I will have been playing trombone for 50 years. I guess right now it's 49. I feel rather qualified to talk about playing through the years. And maybe 10 years from now, I'll do another one playing in the senior years. And maybe another one after that. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But for those of you who are starting out um, and you want to watch this, remember that as a beginner or a young player the first couple of years, two, three, four, whatever those years are for you, and there's something about it you really like, whether it's just this feeling of fun. Whether it's a feeling you get to express yourself in a way you never thought you could. Or to be with people in a way that you never thought you could, playing in a band or an orchestra. Try to remember those moments. Feel that exhilaration of that new piece. Feel when you finally hit that note that you've been struggling to get and working hard to get it, and you get it. Because 
one of the things I want to address is in this playing through the years, what are some of the upfront qualities? This is for everyone, obviously. What are some of the upfront qualities in our mind, in our thinking, our emotional state? Our physical state for at different times in life we go through different periods our chemistry is different our desires are different what we find important or value some of those things might stay the same our whole life others might change certain things we thought were so important might fall away Other things that we didn't think are or were so important start to become very important and valued. So in all of our years that we'll be playing, if we continue, where are the values? Where are the loves? Where are the ups and downs? Because at every stage, all those things exist. The ups and downs at certain levels or certain stages of playing might be physical. Other times might be more emotional, which can affect the physical. Other times might be more things just in our mind You know, I saw this one professor at a school. They had on their wall, playing is 90% mental. Well, it's an interesting way to look at it, especially if you look at it through the eyes of attitude. What is the attitude when you're a younger player? What is the attitude when you start to move on a little bit? Maybe you decided in late high school, you know what? I want to go to college and take, in, take up music, be in music, continue my instrument. Then what is the attitude when you're competing for a job in the workplace? Or you're a terrific teacher, everyone knows it, but you only have a master's degree. And they won't take you to be the professor of the school unless you have a doctorate. And you could be a far more gifted teacher with a bachelor's degree or a high school degree. So life is funny, life is funny. Well, let's say you have an audition and you play great, but they don't like your tone. Or there's something a little bit in the style that they didn't feel would fit in their section or their orchestra. Then what? So in this playing through the years, we'll cover physical aspects. Perhaps some emotional and mental things will get in there too. But we're going to look at what are those things that can remain constant? What are those things that remain constant? Where is our attitude? Where is our love? Did it disappear after the honeymoon was over? <laughs> and that honeymoon can be reborn. We're always looking for that honeymoon again. You know, oh, I just got into all state. And someone might be so thrilled because they've all only gotten into all eastern or all county or all city. We had an all city orchestra. And then you get, get into 
finally get into all state, then maybe there's a national orchestra and you get into that and you feel that new, you got into the next level, you got into the next level, you got into the next level. There's always levels. And sometimes those levels don't have a name that everyone can recognize. But you know. You know those levels. And I'm sure sometimes others recognize them when you're in them as well. What about being in a perpetual honeymoon? But that you have to do. As much as you practice your scales and breathing or whatever instrument you play, you have to sometimes at certain times remember what you love about it and what is going to endure the whole span of playing through the years. Well, if you know yourself, Maybe you'll know the type of person you are, that you need a challenge, that you need to be challenged. I wrote a piece for someone once and they loved it, but they, they wished it was harder. And I thought, well, <laughs> maybe you missed the point of the piece. Or get someone else to write you another piece. Now, if you know that about yourself, you always need something harder and more difficult to be challenged. I want to ask those people at that level this question. What are you missing? What are you missing? Is there something that can't see things new? Do you really think you have everything that you play down so pat that you can't open it up? Like someone who reads a book several times and every time they read that book, they get something different from it or that movie. What is in us that gets kind of old and bored so quick? These are important questions in playing through the years. Nothing wrong with challenging. Nothing. But as you've probably heard me say before, it's not what you do. It's the reason why you do it. And if you know you're the kind of person that has to set up four recitals a year, you're really not going to be motivated to practice, and you love putting on recitals, please do it. Know what you need to create your growth, to keep yourself stimulated, to keep yourself engaged in your music. Variety is excellent. It nourishes different parts of us. So in the midst of wanting to be challenged, you know what? There's still some old standards that when you first started playing, they still exist. And you probably like the challenge of even being able to play them. <laughs>